Hi, this is Tammy Cheever with the National Soil Survey Center Soils Hotline. This is an instructional video on using Web Soil Survey and how to set an area of interest. I've already started the application, so you can see that I have a U.S. map, and I want to set an area of interest so that I can run reports and I can generate a map. I will use the AOI, define AOI by rectangle icon, click to activate it, and then click and drag on the map. Okay, now you can see that I tried to set an area of interest that is over 100,000 acres in size. When you use the AOI rectangle icon or the AOI polygon icon, you're limited to 100,000 acres or smaller. So let's close this error message. And we'll go back, use the zoom icon. Now the zoom icon, you can either click on the map, it will zoom in, or you have the option to click and drag your mouse on the map to zoom in. So you want to zoom in until you can recognize the area of uh, the country that you want to set your area of interest in. Once you're zoomed in to the level that you, you, that you need, click the AOI rectangle icon, and then click and drag on the map to set an area of interest. Okay, now you can see we've successfully set an area of interest. It's noted by the aqua blue lines that um, go diagonally through your area of interest. Anything you do now, if I go to the soil map, you can see it tells me about soil data within my area of interest. I'll go back to my Area of Interest tab. And I've decided I don't want a rect rectangular Area of Interest, so I will clear my AOI. And I will select the Define AOI by Polygon icon. Now I come down to the map. And I click to start my point, release my mouse, drag it down, click, release, click, and just click around until you've got your area of interest outlined. Double click will finish your area of interest. So now that we're done demoing how to use the AOI rectangle and the AOI polygon tool, Let's use the Clear AOI button once more, clear our area of interest. And now let's talk about um, a way that you can import an AOI. If you're an ArcGIS user and you work with shapefiles, you have two options. You click on the Import AOI item, and then you can either create an AOI from shapefile, or you can create an AOI from zipped shapefile. So we'll look at the AOI from shapefile. You will browse to wherever you have your shapefile and select it. And then you will do the same for your .shx file, .prj file, and optionally you can do the .dbf file. Once you have those populated, simply click the Set AOI, and it will set your area of interest. Now this also is limited to 100,000 acres or less. And if you have questions about what kind of shapefiles can I import, you can click this online help question mark, and it will open an online menu. You can read all about what it takes to import a shapefile, including all the way down to the bottom um, what notes there are that are um, not all shapefiles can be imported, and it tells you and what the limitations are. So once you're done with your online help information, the question mark is upside down. You just click it to turn it off. And then if you wanted to, you could also just use a zip 
um, shape file and browse your local computer, choose it, and then set AOI button. So that's how to do import AOI. Now what we haven't covered is this thing called quick navigation. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, because I've mentioned so many times how you can only have an area of interest of less than 100,000 acres, the way to get around that is to use the quick navigation for soil survey area. If you come to soil survey area, you choose your state, and for our example, we're going to choose Idaho, and then you can choose the county, or you can come down to this menu of survey areas and just pick one. But for this case, we're going to go and we'll choose Franklin County. I pull my sash bar down again, and I can see Franklin County actually has two soil survey areas um, that are somehow uh, part of Franklin County, part of those survey areas. So let's check this Franklin County area, Idaho. Check the radio button. And I have some options here. I can set the area of interest, select map units, or view. If I view, it's just zooming in to Franklin County, Idaho. If I set AOI, this is the one and only way that you can set an area of interest greater than 100,000 acres. So I do the set AOI button, and you can see I have an area of interest that's 305,860 acres large. This over here also tells me which survey area I have selected. It gives me the data avail availability, both tabular and spatial are complete, and then it gives me the dates of the tabular and the spatial versions. You'll get the same information uh, no matter which area of interest method you use to set an AOI. So let's clear our area of interest once more. And then let's close the soil survey area, quick navigation. And let's just look at some of the other navigation methods we have. You can use address, and this will take a full um, city, uh, street, city, state, zip code address. Or you could use click to, to choose it and then type in city and state abbreviation. Click view and it will zoom to the city and state that you put in. Another option is just a zip code. Put in your zip code, click and view. Um, again, if you need help with what you can do with the address quick navigation, there's online help. Just click the question mark in the address area. Another method is to use state and county. You choose the state. And then you choose the county. And you click view. Now these navigation methods are just navigating you to the area that you've chosen. It's not setting an area of interest. The only way you can set an area of interest is with the AOI polygon tools up here, the import AOI, or that soil survey area, and then the set AOI button. So that's state and county. Um, you can also do navigation by, if you know your latitude and longitude, you can navigate by that. Also, if you know section, township, and range. And we also also have um, Forest Service National Forest Service units. So let's just use Alabama, um, this Forest Service unit here, click view, and it will zoom to that Forest Service area. And this happens to be highlighted in green, so you can see where the Forest Service boundaries are, but you've not set an AOI interest. Navigation method we have is the National Park Service. You select that item and then select your state and the park name with your drop down choice list and then click view. Now this will navigate us to the um, National Park, Glacier National Park. And now we'll just use an AOI icon tool to 
could draw a larger area of interest. Now, one thing I want to show you is we have a one tab which is um, all by itself here. It's called the Legend tab. Click on it to open it. And now you can um, choose other items that you want to display. Some are set by default, and some you can choose to turn on, um, such as postal codes. You can turn on your zip codes. Otherwise, I want to show you that at the very bottom, the background layers we have are currently by default it's aerial photography, but you could also choose to turn on your topographic map. And another um, interesting thing you can do is you can right click on these items and choose edit layer properties. And now you can control how much um, opacity there is for the data layer you, you're looking at. So you just slide this bar left and right until you think it's where you want it. Click Apply. And I think I want it a little lighter, so I'm going to go and apply again. And now you can see I start to see that aerial imagery. So you can adjust that to your needs so that you can see aerial imagery and topal imagery. And that's a matter of what your personal preferences are. Um, then, so when you have it set, then you just close the legend with the X. Um, 